February 11th is an official United States public holiday called Veterans Day. It honors military veterans and people who served in the United States Armed Forces. November 11th became a national holiday when President Franklin Roosevelt signed on May 13, 1938, Public Law 510. It was called Armistice Day. Twenty years after the end of the World War, Armistice Day became a national holiday, November 11, 1938. Eugene I. Van Antwerp, National Commander of the Veterans of Foreign War, became a critical force in the passage that made Armistice Day a national holiday. Without Mr. Van Antwerp's leadership at the Veterans of Foreign Wars, Armistice Day, or we call it Veterans Day today, would probably not be a national holiday. On November 11, 1918, at 11 a.m., the World War ended with an armistice. In May of 1919, Captain Van Antwerp comes home to Michigan and leads his company of the 16th Regiment of Engineers, Michigan's only all-volunteer regiment, through the streets of Detroit to cheering crowds. After spending nearly two years in France, Eugene Van Antwerp returned home to Detroit to his wife and family. He went back to work for the Grand Trunk Railroad and in 1926 became the chief engineer for the National Survey Service, after which he went into private practice as an engineer and surveyor. In 1932, Eugene was elected to Detroit City Council and served continuously from 1932 until 1948 when he served one term as mayor of Detroit. During this period, he was also national commander of the Veterans of Foreign War 1938 and 1939. The Armistice Day Bill was introduced on April 26, 1937 as H.R. 6656 by California Representative Bertram W. Gerhardt. He was also a World War I veteran and member of the Veterans of Foreign Wars. As National Commander of the Veterans of Foreign Wars, Eugene Van Antwerp encouraged his membership to contact their elected officials to make sure that passage of H.R. 6656 would be assured. Besides contacting legislators, Eugene Van Antwerp also contacted the governors of many states because in actuality there is no U.S. national holidays because the states had the right to retain and designate their own. The federal government at the time could only designate holidays for federal employees and those of the District of Columbia. However, in practice the states almost always followed the federal lead. On May 13, 1938, President Franklin Roosevelt signed U.S. Public Law 510 which created Armistice Day as a national holiday, dedicated to the cause of world peace and to be hereafter celebrated as Armistice Day. As national commander of the Veterans of Foreign Wars, Eugene Van Ant would provide a critical leadership when needed, supporting the Armistice Day Bill with the Organization of Veterans of Foreign Wars. After World War II in Korea, Congress changed the name from Armistice to Veterans Day to honor all those who served in the military. 100 years after the armistice was signed and 80 years after it became a national holiday, Governor Rick Snyder of Michigan signed a special tribute to Eugene Van Antwerp acknowledging his part in making Veterans Day a national holiday. The mayor of Detroit, Mike Duggan, also did a proclamation that declared, Now, therefore, I, Mike Duggan, mayor of Detroit, Michigan, to hereby acknowledge November 11, 2018 as Eugene I. Van Antwerp and Veterans Day in Michigan.